The COVID news in Morocco is that the virus is creeping back into society. But Moroccans remain unconcerned. Should there be? In the UK, COVID numbers are tumbling at a delightful rate. So, why isn't life returning to normal sooner rather than later? As a continent, Africa has survived COVID much better than anyone imagined it would. There have been just over 4.5 million cases throughout the continent. That is about 10% of the number of total cases in Europe. Compare Africa's numbers with those of the American continent and Asia. On April 30th, 2021, the world had just under 19 million active cases. Africa has 352,742 active cases. This means of all the current active cases of COVID in the world, just 1.8% of them are in the entire continent of Africa. So why has Africa managed to do so well? One reason is its age demographic. The median age of Africa is 19 years old and just 3% of the 1.5 billion Africans are over the age of 65. Added to this, most of the ageing population in Africa live within the community. In Europe and America, old people are tend to be put into special homes where COVID can spread quickly and easily. Another possible reason for Africa's low COVID numbers is the tuberculosis vaccine known as BCG. The vaccine is routinely given to babies in Africa, but not in Europe and North America. Evidence is inconclusive, but countries with routine BCG vaccinations, such as Morocco, have reported fewer COVID cases. It is true that Morocco has been one of the hardest hit countries in Africa. Only South Africa has suffered more. Anyone who gives a cursory glance at Morocco's current COVID status will see things are not looking good. In April, new cases were increasing by around 500 per day and active cases were on the rise after a four-month decline. There has been talk of the British variant spreading across the country of Morocco. However, dig a little deeper and you'll see that things are not as serious as the headlines might suggest. Despite the rise in numbers, Morocco has fallen in a steady decline to 41st place in the list of countries with COVID from its 38th place in March. The daily average of 500 new cases has been matched by almost the same amount of recoveries. Morocco had 12,443 new cases in March. In April, there were 15,152 new cases, an increase of 2,709, or 21%. On the last day of March, Morocco had just under 4,000 active cases. On the last day of April, the country had 4,605 active cases, an increase of 689 or 17.5% increase in active cases. This increase, coming after four months of the numbers falling, is very disappointing, but it's an increase of less than 1,000. It is the smallest increase in active cases since COVID arrived in Morocco in March 2020. 
The difference in active cases between the last day of March and the last day of April in 2020 was an increase of nearly 3,000. More than three times the increase between this March and April. There were only 12 days in April this year when Morocco had fewer active cases than the day before. Six of those 12 were the last six days in April. May the 1st has also seen a drop in active cases, suggesting that the new wave of COVID is more likely to be nothing more than a slight bump rather than a spike. With regard to COVID deaths, the numbers have hardly changed. 195 deaths in March and 205 deaths in April, an increase of 10 deaths or 5%. So there is a lot for Morocco to be hopeful about. But as with last month, the really great news is coming from the UK. 40 million Brits, or 7 out of 10 of the population, now live in COVID-free areas, according to the UK government. The number of active cases in the UK has dropped from 371,724 to 74,315, a decrease of nearly 300,000, or 80% in one month. In March, the UK had just over 170,000 new cases. In April, the UK had 78,838, a drop of 91,246, or 53% from March. COVID deaths in the UK have fallen by more than 78%, down from 3,692 in March to 804 in April, the fewest monthly deaths since September 2020. Despite the slight rise in numbers in Morocco, there is a realistic hope in both Morocco and the UK that the end of COVID is in sight. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.